I'm here with Peter Elford, the Business Development Manager for Higher Education and Research at Cisco. Welcome to Armadale, Peter. Thanks, Liz. Peter, you were involved in installing the original internet in Australia in the late 80s, 1990. Did you ever think that we'd be here looking at NBN? No, not at all. Um, it, it's really hard to imagine that uh, when uh, Jeff Houston, who was the other guy I worked with on that project, uh, to build an internet in Australia, the first link we had out of Australia, that's the internet for all of Australia, was uh, 56 kilobits, uh, which is what we might get today on a dial-up line, and that was the whole country. Um, and at, at the time, the sort of things we were doing uh, on the network were just unrecognisable for the sort of things we were trying to do today. Mm. So, so what's changed then? Well, it, it went, just as I said, yeah, nothing's, nothing's the, the same. Um, uh, it's it's uh, no, no go Google. Uh, no World Wide Web, mm. no one had ever transmitted uh, music or voice or video over the internet. In fact, it was incredibly crude. Uh, but what the internet did provide was unbelievable connections mm -hmm. between everyone in the world. It was a small part, portion of the world then, yeah. but it became a very big part of the world. And it provided an open platform so that it was unlimited innovation. And that's what really led to the emergence of digital music, um, video over the internet, all those things were a result of innovation. Sure. So when we have our experts that come in and we talk to them, we ask about a, a message from our business, just on this sort of where do you think it's going. Do you have any anything you can share with us about how you may see where it's possibly going to go and how it might affect business? Well, if, if you look at what that connectedness and that open innovation platform uh, that I mentioned has achieved. It's destroyed some companies. Mm -hmm. Kodak got destroyed because they didn't move quickly to, to digital uh, uh, photography. Mm -hmm. But it's created new businesses. And in some organisations, it's transformed them. Uh, the way in which we do banking is transformed banking. Banks haven't gone out of business. Mm -hmm. They've just changed. And I think every organisation needs to think, well, do I want to go out of business? Do I want to be transformed? Or what opportunities are there to do things in a new and different way? And what the NBN provides is an opportunity to break that classic chicken and egg cycle where, oh, we've never had enough network to be able to do this, mm. uh, but if we did have enough of network, we could do this new creative thing. And I think that's what the NBN provides, an opportunity to think creatively, to, to really challenge yourself to think what, not what's gone before, but what we can do going forward. Fantastic. Thanks for your time, Peter. It's been a pleasure, Liz.